When you run dir command in Windows, it shows the total number of files and folders in the system. But do you know Linux has 7 different file types? No, I am not talking about file formats like image, videos or document, but actual file types defined by operating system. In Windows, almost everything is either a file or a folder. But in Linux, everything is a file. Your document is a file, your hard drive is a file, keyboard is a file, even two programs talking to each other is also a file. And there are total 7 different file types. When you run ls-l command in Linux, which is similar to dir command in windows in the result the first character on each line represents the file type hyphen represent regular file type like text image or pdf document b represents block file like hard drive which handles data in chunk so when you copy download or install something it moves big blocks of data using this file c represents character file devices that work on one character at a time like the keyboard or terminal or serial port when you type something on keyboard it directly goes into this file d represents directory or a folder l is a symbolic link which represents shortcut to another file or folder p represents pipe which works in a fifo format first in first out it is generally used by programs where one program writes and another read many logging and background services use this instead of writing logs to disk they write log into pipe where another process just read from it and process s represents socket file when two program needs to talk to each other like client app needs to get data from mysql database instead of going over tcp ip it opens this socket file and communicate via this socket by making everything as a file the same function works everywhere open read write close this means any program doesn't need different code to talk to a file or a disk or even a keyboard all can communicate via same functions and this design makes linux powerful and simple at the same time